the narcissist is playing you for a fool. They're playing you for a fool. It may seem as though they're acting unwisely, as though they're ill-advised or foolish, but they actually know exactly what they're doing. They know that they are playing you. They know that they're tricking and deceiving you. They're pulling the wool over your eyes. They're hiding the truth from you. But they put on a show. They make you believe that they're about something for real. When in reality they're not about anything. They created this false character which they displayed to you. They mirrored your interests and ideals. They reflected it back to you to make you think that they're real. When the reality is that they don't even exist. You're holding on to something which isn't even there. Which is exactly what they want. Because then you're validating the illusion. Which gives them supply. It gives them a thrill. Because then in that moment, it makes them feel like they are real. Like they do have something worthwhile. When the reality is that they don't actually have anything, they just tricked you into thinking that they did. Which is where their power to manipulate you comes from. Their power comes from your belief. But deep down they already know that they don't have anything. And they're not about anything. They're fully aware of that already. The game is just to trick you into overvaluing them and overestimating their importance. So that you attach to them and give them fuel. When the reality is that you're attaching to something that has no value. So you're only going to be left feeling disappointed and dissatisfied. Because they can't give you something that they don't have. So the best you will ever get from them is an illusion. Which is how it's so easy for them to devalue you and discard you. Because they already know that there's no future in something that started out as a game. They already know that once you figure out that they just manipulated you and gave you a false character, you're not going to want anything to do with them anyway. You won't know when the narcissist is playing you for a fool. Because they can be very convincing. They've had years of practice at manipulating the unsuspecting victims. So they already know exactly what they need to do. To make you believe that they're about something. But the illusion falls apart when they eventually don't do what they said they were going to do. Or at least it should fall apart. But many victims are so brainwashed by these narcissists. That they begin to question themselves. They begin to question their own worth. And of course, the narcissist doesn't want to be exposed for the fraud that they are. So if you're going to willingly start questioning your own worth, they'll jump on the bandwagon. They'll join you and support you in that, even though they're actually just giving you another false character. They already recognize your worth. They already know that you're real and authentic. That's why they came around you in the first place. To rob you of your authentic qualities and virtues. And to try to destroy everything that is good about you. But now that you have found my content. You should be more aware of when a narcissist is playing you for a fool. You should know that they are full of shit.
They will never do what they say they're going to do. They will never follow their words up with action. Which is a typical thing that covert narcissists will do. Instead, they will be passive aggressive. They will be in indirect resistance to your wishes or needs, while in avoidance of direct confrontation. They will indirectly express negative feelings instead of openly addressing them. Because in their minds it's unfair. Because they're actually very envious, jealous and resentful of you. And in many situations you may actually hold nothing more than an illusion of significance to them. Because they may already have other sources of supply who are more susceptible to their manipulation. People who are there playing for fools. So they don't really need you anyway. Because they determine a person's value by what that person is going to do for them rather than who that person actually is. So if you start to catch on that they're deceiving you you're just going to lose value in their eyes anyway. They're just going to see you as a lost cause. And then they will deny, blame, shift, project and gaslight you. Because they look at it like you're either going to play my game or you're not. And it's either their way or the highway. You either validate the illusion or you serve no useful purpose. Because they have no other purpose for people other than that. You're just a means to an end. And even if you do validate the illusion, that's the best you're going to get from them. Because all they have to offer you is an illusion. They expect you to see it as a privilege just to be around them. So it will only ever be a game. It will never be anything real. Anything that's grounded in reality. Because their power can only exist outside of reality in your imagination which is why they have to get inside your mind it's why they have to dominate and control your thoughts and feelings and it's why nothing they say or imply will ever manifest into reality because it was never real to begin with it never stemmed from any genuine desire or interest because they already know that they're not real so by default all they can do is manipulate you which means that from the beginning, they're only going to see you as something temporary. As something that's only useful for as long as they can pull the wool over your eyes. Because after that, you're never going to see them the same way. And instead, you're going to keep your power to yourself. Which means that they will lose the ability to control you. Because their power comes from you. It comes from their ability to affect you. But they can only affect you if you believe in them. And you will only believe in them. If they can get you to detach from reality. By overvaluing them and overestimating their importance. By assuming that they have something. Or that they're going to do what they say they're going to do. Which means that it's all in your mind. It has no basis in reality. Unless you choose to take action or do something with it. Because you're the only one who has the power in this situation. Which is why if you take a back seat. And you take on a less important role or position. You're only going to be left feeling disappointed and dissatisfied. Because they lack the power to perform. Their power only comes from getting you to believe in something that isn't true or real. It doesn't come from anything that is actually grounded in reality. If it did, you never would have experienced any bad feelings. And then you would never have found my videos. Because when all is said and done, you're the one who is left to take on the authoritative role. The power will always return to where it belongs. 
to where it's supposed to be to the person who will not abuse it the person who will do what they're actually supposed to do because it's the people who aren't narcissists who end up having to clean things up they're the ones who are left to try to improve the situation by doing something that the narcissist has not done or completed because even if you confront them and you tell them that they're fake or full of shit they're not going to own up to it because they already know that it would just leave them in a weaker and more vulnerable position since they don't even have the means to do what they said they were going to do so all they can do is project it onto you to try to make you feel insecure and they are masters of manipulation they've had years of practice because it's the only way they knew to survive by tricking and deceiving people because they're very weak and ineffective so they always manage to avoid criticism and keep a good reputation even after they have done things wrong which means that their issues go unnoticed and they never have to take accountability and instead the people who are powerful and effective are the ones who are left to take the blame they're the ones who are left to clean up their mess which means that we are essentially empowering the weakest and most ineffective people in our society while punishing and keeping down those who should be in a position of power because they're the ones who aren't going to misuse their power or use it for their own self-seeking motives Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at payable.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.